You may be thinking that I'm actually using this microphone, but I really am not. I'm in a sound stage right now. I've been recording stuff basically throughout the entire day, and this Nylander trade did drop, and I had to suppress everything that I thought about it before coming onto my phone right now to talk about it. So, Nylander has been traded to the Chicago Blackhawks. Obviously, we're talking about Alex Nylander, not William Nylander. That's a much different player in this context. Alex Nylander has been sent over to Chicago to Chicago in exchange for right-handed defenseman Henry Yokiharyu. And this has been a huge, impactful trade all throughout the league and amongst the league's fan bases because what you're getting with this trade is a swapping of two very valuable prospects and two prospects whose levels of value are not universally seen as the same. Henry Yukiharju is a young Finnish right-handed defenseman who did play NHL games this season. He played 38 games with the Blackhawks and he got 12 points. Something like that. I believe it was 12 points. Something around that ballpark. And he did play in the AHL as well, putting up some really good numbers there. All right, I did check it out. He did get 12 points indeed. Yoki Harju is seen as one of the top Chicago Blackhawks right-handed defenseman prospects in the system, obviously aside Adam Boakfist as well. And he got sent over to the Buffalo Sabres in exchange for Alexander Nylander, who a lot of people are just labeling as William Nylander's inferior younger brother. Now, Alexander Nylander is a player who still primarily plays in the AHL, and because of that unestablished NHL quality to his game, People are looking at this trade as a one-for-one one and saying immediately, okay, no, this was a Chicago loss. This was Buffalo stealing away an NHL-quality young defenseman for an unproven NHL prospect on forward. And for the most part, at face value, that's what this is. Alex Nylander has played 12 NHL games and he's got four points and he has played a ton in the AHL over the past few years, and he has tremendously succeeded year after year in that league. However, the potential of being a top pick in the 2016 NHL entry draft, especially when other guys like Kachuk and Keller are doing amazingly well in the NHL now, it's taking a look at this and saying, okay, Nylander hasn't been the best prospect in comparison to some of these other guys. Which is why people are taking a look at this and saying automatically, Buffalo, they won. But to me, this trade is more of a bet. It's a bet that Chicago is willing to put, and it's a bet that Chicago has kind of won in the past. Remember Nick Schmaltz for Dylan Strom? Yeah, okay, that's not really a fair one because Nick Schmaltz got injured, and Strom, he did find his way onto a Chicago team, and he had chemistry, and he built up his point stock, and he started doing well. This is the same scenario that's being set up for Alexander Nylander, and I'm not going to sit here and I'm going to say, yeah, it's guaranteed that it's going to happen that way, but what I will say is that Chicago is putting themselves in a tough position because they are putting that pressure on Nylander to succeed in that same way. Now, as for Yoki Haru, he's going to be a really good, solid top four defenseman for the Buffalo Sabres, and if he's playing alongside of a guy like Darlene, then, oh my goodness, that's absolutely phenomenal. And I can't wait to see that going into the future. Buffalo now has so many really good defensemen in their system. And it's just crazy how they were able to build all of this up in just a few years' time. But the big risk here is on Chicago, and it's on Alex Nylander, and it's on the expectations that people are going to put on Nylander because there isn't a guarantee that he's going to pan out in the same way that Strom did after changing environments. Nylander is a good AHL player, but there's no certainty yet as to what his NHL game will look like. Meanwhile, Yuki Haru does have a good resume thus far. So going forward into the future, I'm expecting some pretty interesting outcomes with these players on their new teams, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video, social, 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 social